Now, if you look at the oxidizing power of the hypohalous acid, or let's consider the hypohalate ion, unlike the bonding between hydrogen and halogen, if the halogen is a bigger halogen bonded with oxygen, there is a better overlap of electrons, hence the stronger the bond. In other words, as you go down the group, the hypohalide bond is increasingly stronger. Increasingly stronger OX bond, implying breaking that bond or carrying that bond away to release oxygen is much harder. The oxidizing nature of the hypohalide ions as you go down the group of the halogen family decreases because it's easier to cleave away the ClO bond than it is to cleave away the IO bond. Interestingly, and we find it hard to explain this as a trend, but from the electrode potential values, we find that the hypochlorite ion is equally as oxidizing as the hypobromite ion and the hypoiodide ion is the least oxidizing of them. Let's now compare the acidic character of different oxy acids of the same halogen with different number of oxygens. In other words, of the same halogen present in different oxidation states. Now, acidic character as such involves the loss of the H plus in an aqueous medium. It would form H3O plus and it would form the hypohalite ion. Now, let's consider just the hypohalite ion. The hypohalite ion contains a single negative charge. With increased number of oxygen around the halogen atom, we find that the negative charge is better dispersed with multiple p pi d pi dispersion backbonding in others as compared to a halogen which is bonded to the lesser number of oxygen atoms. In other words, the stability of the ion is greater in the case where there are more oxygens along with the halogen than in the case where there are lesser oxygens with the halogen. In other words, the stability of the hypohalite ion decreases with decrease in number of oxygens along with the halogen. If the stability of the ion decreases, a stronger acid produces a more stable ion. Therefore, the acidic character of these acids decreases in a similar order in that where the halogen is present with a greater oxidation number, the acid strength is greater. Where the oxidation number is lesser, the acid strength is lesser. Likewise, the oxidizing ability depends on the ease with which the oxygen can be released from the hypohalite ion. Like we saw, the hypohalite ion, where the halogen is in the higher oxidation state, is more stable, implying the oxygen cannot be removed away from it. And the hypohalite ion in which the oxidation number of the halogen is lesser is lesser stable, implying the oxygen can be removed more easily. Therefore goes to say that the oxidizing character increases as you move from a higher oxidation state oxy acid towards a lower oxidation state oxy acid. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Baiju's the learning app today.